Our goal is to start the Darwin 200 Global Voyage next year, but we have to fundraise and build a head of publicity before then. So to that end, we've chartered the good ship Pelican of London, and this year we're undertaking the project in miniature around the UK to test our systems and make sure we've got everything working exactly right. During the UK voyage, we've brought on an amazing range of professional scientists and young scientists. Those are students that are aged 18 to 25 years old, study environmental subjects. And they're on board to undertake a really exciting range of activities and research projects studying ocean health and environmental issues and the conservation of wildlife. And we want you to be part of this journey. Every single day of this voyage, we're going to be broadcasting and putting out on YouTube live videos and interactive experiments that we want you to be part of. So, this is the plan. We're currently here in Sharpness Docks and we're about to sail today all the way around down to the tip of, of the Lizard Peninsula, all the way along the south coast of England to over here, to Folkestone. This is our start point for the UK circumnavigation voyage. We're starting from Folkestone, we're going to sail back around the south coast, all the way through the Hebrides, up to Orkney and Shetlands, and from there down the east coast, all the way back into London, circumnavigate the entire British archipelago. So, let's go meet the young scientists. Richard, what Hello, research Richard. projects have you got planned for the voyage? Well, I'm privileged to be on board the tall ship Pelican, following in Darwin's wake. I must, uh, must say it's a real privilege to be doing this as part of the Darwin 200 UK circumnavigation. Uh, we're going to be looking at some key marine issues, basically. So things like plastics in the water column, as highlighted by uh, David Attenborough and Blue Planet, really brought it to the attention of the public. Okay. But also considering other things, such as the uh, phytoplankton, which are the root of the marine food chain. They're the little marine organisms that make our coastal waters look green. Okay. But they underpin the viability of so many species, including things like whales and dolphins, because we also hope to be doing some cetacean spotting. So we will be contributing to the Sea Watch um, database in wow. terms of these. Um, and also we'll be considering other aspects such as marine renewables because they are part of the portfolio of climate change solutions. And I'm really privileged to be working here with a fabulous team of young scientists who are passionate about their conservation work and following in the pioneering steps of Darwin, I would suggest. Yeah, let's meet them. So, what are you all interested in? Um, I'm really interested in the difference in the water quality in the different places that we go and to see how that affects the different wildlife and the biodiversity that's in the different places and obviously to see what's there as well. So what about you Ash? What do you want to find out? So every year 100,000 mammals and sea turtles and along, along with one million birds are killed. Um, so, and that's due to plastic pollution alone. Wow. So what I want to find out during this voyage is exactly how bad plastic pollution is around it is around our own waters, around the UK. Yeah, that would be, that'd be really interesting to find yeah. out. I'm not a scientist, and what I'm really interested in here is what can an ordinary person do to help solve the problems that we're going to find out here. Um, I think science is often, it seems very specialised, yeah. and this is an amazing opportunity to get behind that curtain of professionalism and really get stuck in and see what's really going on. Very good point. Yeah. yeah. So I'm really looking forward to being able to implement actual science, marine science, and especially to travel around the whole of the UK as well. It's going to be an amazing experience. Ooh, hope so. The young scientists are going to be undertaking a range of other exciting experiments. And over the next seven weeks, they're going to be posting their results live in the form of YouTube videos every day or two. They're going to be putting photographs of their results and findings on Facebook, on Twitter, and on Instagram. Search D200 or go to www.darwin200.com to stay informed and see all of their findings. Join us and be part of this adventure sailing around the UK and take part in their discoveries.